Brothers and sisters in Christ, in Acts chapter 1, before Pentecost, it is said that Mary and the apostles came together in prayer. And you may be wondering, what were they praying about and what was going through the minds of the apostles as they gathered together to pray? Well, I think one of the things that they would be, have been reflecting on on these words of Jesus from today's Gospel, from John 16, verse 29 to 33, where the disciples were telling Jesus, Now we can understand you, and now we believe that you came from God. But then Jesus answered them. He said, Do you believe now? Well, behold, the hour is coming and has arrived when each of you will be scattered to his own home and you will leave me alone. But I am not alone because the Father is with me. So when the disciples confessed their faith in Jesus, Jesus told them, Yes, you say you believe. But I'm telling you, the times of difficulties are coming. The hour, meaning the hour when Jesus will be arrested and he will be killed. That is when all of you will run away, will be scattered. So can you imagine what the apostles were going through after the resurrection and until the coming of the Holy Spirit? They were struggling with their failure of being faithful to Jesus, how they compromised, how they were so afraid of the Jews and they gave in to fear. Brothers and sisters in Christ, today's gospel gives us one truth that we have to confront over and over in our life. The truth of our human frailties and our weaknesses. We are not yet perfect. We are on the way. We are on the way. Maybe some of us are even not on the way. But if you are taking your life with God seriously, you have to strive and seek towards perfection. But that means coming regularly in terms with your brokenness, your failures, your compromises. And this is a truth that we must face before Pentecost. Jesus told the apostles in today's readings, I have told you this, that you might have peace in me. In the world you will have trouble, but take courage, I have conquered the world. Yes, true peace is in Jesus, is in God. Yes, that's the reality. That's what we are seeking when we want the Holy Spirit to come more fully into our life. All of us are desiring peace in our life. But this truth that we cannot experience true peace if we are not reconciled with God. Today, Francis is in Christ. The church also remembers Our Lady of Fatima and one of the most important messages of Fatima is that true peace only comes from God. So let us today, before Pentecost, as we are desiring God more in our life, more of the Holy Spirit in our life, more of God's presence in our life. Let us come and allow the Spirit, the Spirit of Truth, to speak into our lives, expose the darkness, expose the sins, expose the compromises, expose our fears, expose everything that is not right. I know it's not easy. That's why Jesus said, you will have trouble, but take courage. I've conquered the world. Yes, 
when we make compromises we will not be at peace deep down somewhere there will be some restlessness but jesus today in his word is encouraging us he has already conquered the world let us not lose hope in god in spite of our weaknesses let us today once again make a commitment a decision to strive for holiness to strive to come closer to god to strive to give up everything that is not of god in our lives so that his peace his spirit can come more fully into our lives this pentecost god bless